Good day everyone, let me explain to you what you just saw. Today's video is a collaboration between our channel Frank Ballo Photo and Sharp Knife Shop. If you don't know Sharp Knife Shop, they are an online retailer of fine Japanese kitchen knives and tools. They even have a physical store location if you so happen to be around Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Now if you are a regular subscriber to the channel, then you already saw that I was featured in their latest video, Battle Stations, which you can find here. Now today, they sent me a mystery box. And you're gonna wanna know what's inside this mystery box. And you know what? I wanna know what's inside this mystery box because it's a mystery, I have no idea. All they told me was this. Frankie, we're gonna send you a box and it's a mystery box. Inside the box are going to be two knives. One you get to keep and one you get to do a giveaway. How cool is that? I got shivers, I'm thinking about it and uh, I feel honored for myself because I'll get to keep a knife. And I feel honored for you guys. Now, of course, the knife you'll get to keep is the one that I don't choose. And so if you want to know what the giveaway details are, stay until the end of the video because I'll let you know exactly what to do. Now, before we dive in and unbox and see what is inside this mystery box, remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you'll know when the latest videos are up. If you haven't already, subscribe to Sharp Knife Shop. Let's get into it. As usual, we have our trusty Higo. Now inside this mystery box, all I know is when they sent me the box, it's 20 inches long. So I'm suspecting that it could be something as long as, say maybe a 300 millimeter Yanagiba, but who knows, with a lot of padding, for all I know there's two 75 millimeter petties. And maybe they're throwing me a curveball and it's a petty and a Yanagiba. Who knows at this point? Let's get it. All right, there you have it. That was the unboxing. Now inside, oh, a little note behind the sticker. Love it. Hey, Franco, hope you like our picks and have fun playing with them. Looking forward to this video. This is from Ben, one of the staff members at Sharp Knife Shop. So here's one sticker that I'll figure out where to put. I love stickers. I just don't know where to put them. Probably on my video gear now that I have more video gear. This is a nice one too. Check this one out. That is some great detailing. I know exactly where this one's going to go. I believe this is also a sticker. Look at the variety. Man, I love this shop, not only for the quality and their selection of fine Japanese kitchen knives, but just everything they do is quality. They have some of the best posts I've seen on the market for fine Japanese kitchen knives. So here are my four stickers to play with. Maybe I'll even send one your way for whichever knife I don't keep. Speaking of knives, what do we got? A longer box and a shorter box. Any details? Mmm, this one's pretty bare and I don't recognize the maker. This one, I do have some information. Oh, nice wooden box. Zuin Santoku 180 millimeters. Interesting. And here's that box. We don't need this anymore. So what do I know? I know that one of them has a Santoku and the other one I know absolutely nothing. So at this point, still a bit of a mystery. You know what, let's go with what I do know. It's the first time I see one of these wooden boxes in the sleeve. Oh, that is gorgeous. Here you go. That's the outside of the box. And inside... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I believe that's a wedge handle. And I think that might be heptagonal wedge handle, which would be a first for me if I so choose this knife. Heptagonal meaning seven sides. Now, I could be making all this up, but th there's just something about the handle that screams heptagonal, and I think it's wench. And upon closer inspection, nailed it! Look at that. How cool is that? All right. SG2 powdered steel. I can't pronounce that. I'll put it up on screen. Uh, I also can't pronounce that, but I believe the maker is... Zuin. Mm. I tried my best. That is some gorgeous, gorgeous Damascus. And I have my assistant who's going to give me a piece of paper and let me know exactly what's on it in case I'm screwing up. So this one right here, what you're looking at is Seki Kanatsugu Zuin. It's a Bunka 180 millimeters. Now, why is it a Bunka, not a Sentoku? Because of that tip right there, as well as in terms of the profile. Typically, they're a bit flatter. This one actually has more of a Sentoku belly to it. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how many layers of steel that is, but I am absolutely digging the Damascus. First impressions, I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. The handle construction is 
phenomenal. You all know how much I like my custom handles or even just a really good handle out of a shop. Let me tell you, this is a really good handle out of the shop. So unique. I'm going to be, of course, taking some more footage later and just including that in this video for some close-ups. But uh, first impressions are, are nice. Let's maybe before I put it back, let's take a look at the balance point. Right about there. Yeah, which is where we pinch. All right, I'll keep this one. I think we're done. I think the video is done. Unless this weighs me. We're off to a really good start. Great length too. What I don't like about most Santokus is that um, they're typically in a range of 150 to 180, but you rarely see any around 180. And though this is a bunker, I find that 180 is a really versatile length if you're going to be using one knife for a meal. 210 Gyoto as well, but a Gyoto doesn't do certain aspects of food prep as well as a Santoku or Bunka would. All right, let's put this one away, but I'm kind of excited. I kind of don't want to put it away. Uh, little information pamphlet. Oh, heck yeah. I think they're trying to sell me on this one even more. That is a piece of Wagyu, and they're using their knives to cut the piece of Wagyu. Or Kobe, actually. It's probably Kobe. Next box. All right, so this one is the one that I'm telling you. I actually have no idea. I have heard of this bladesmith and this brand. I don't own any of their knives until maybe now. And then there's this one. So what's in this box? It's a shorter box. It's not a Yanagiba. Ooh. Now what I'm thinking the difference is, this one I believe might be a Sentoku. Are there any giveaways? Okay, how to sharpen. I can appreciate that. Not everyone knows how to. Now, if they sent me a bunker, then this would also be a bunker. Would a Santoku need a knife tip protector? Let's find out. Ooh. Nice Nishiji finish. That is deep. This one's 165, I think. Huh. Is it 165? Thank you. What you're looking at here is a Goko Hamono Nishiji Santoku 165. So what did I figure out without the help of my assistant? That it was a Santoku, that it had a Nishiji finish. And uh, that's it. Wow, this one's nice too. Now I believe the difference was, if I'm not mistaken, this one might be factory made, and this one might be handmade. A little bit more rugged, still a great handle. The wood filler, uh, sorry, the handle, they use wood filler on the handle, as opposed to say an epoxy or a wax. Super deep. I do love that about this Nishiji Santoku. So what do you think? Which knife will I choose? Should I choose now? I'm going to be honest. This one's giving me really good first impression vibes. This one's giving me vibes that I've seen before. A nice, sturdy, handmade knife, a Santoku, something I'm super familiar with. But I almost kind of want to delve into the uh, factory-made knife and try out this Bunka heptagonal handle. You know what? I don't think I'm going to choose right now. It doesn't seem fair to me. It doesn't seem fair to you to just choose a knife based on my first impressions. Instead, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few days to think about it. And I invite you to join me and Sharp Knife Shop staff on Tuesday, November 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time or 7 p.m. MST. Because if you come to this IG Live, by then I may have made my decision. But most importantly, this is a world of influencers, right? You want to influence my choice? I invite you to come IG Live Tuesday, November 16th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. MST. And now let me tell you a little bit about the giveaway details. All right, for those of you who made it this far, and I hope you made it this far, now's the time for the giveaway details. For the giveaway, all you need to do to have the chance to win either this knife or this knife, whichever I don't choose, is the following. Subscribe to my channel, Frank Wallow Photo, and make sure that your profile is public. I'll show you how to do so here, both on mobile and on web. Why? Because when I search for you, if you're the winner, I need to be able to make sure that you actually subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, in the comments below, let me know which of these two knives you would want to win. Would you rather have the Santoku or would you rather have the Bunka? And then if you want a bonus entry, easy. Go to Instagram and follow at Frank Wallero Photo and that will give you an extra entry. If I spoke too fast, I apologize. I will put the giveaway details below. Now the giveaway is until end of day Wednesday, November 17th. 
I will draw the winner on Thursday, November 18th. Not sure, typically my regular YouTube times are 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. But now what I'll do is I'll wake up Thursday morning, I'll have my espresso, I'll take a look at the entries, I'll tally everything, I will choose a winner, film a quick video, let you know which of these two beauties I keep and which one is going away to a lucky winner. Thanks Sharp Knife Shop for these awesome beauties. This has been an amazing collaboration. I can't wait to test them in the next few days, decide which I'm going to keep and who is going to be the lucky winner of the one that I don't keep. These are both fantastic knives. I already know. They wouldn't have sent me knives that they didn't believe in. And so thank you once again for tuning in and see you at the IG Live and then see you on Thursday, November 18th for the winner. See you next time.